Well, say winter is coming. Winter is coming. Temperature's starting to change a little bit, it's starting to cool off at night, which means we got to get some firewood today and get things ready for the winter time so that we got some wood to burn. Uh, we're going to head over to Josh Player's place. I'll leave his all information all down below. But right now, we got to do some running around and we're going to stop by his place, pick up, up like, pretty close to a quart of wood, and then we got to get home and stack her up. Stack her up. Stack it up. <laughs> Let's get moving. All right, we got our cord of wood loaded up in the back there. Gotta go pick Ella up at school. Uh, that's a lot of wood. I didn't. I did not know there was that. Well, I shouldn't say I didn't know. I know it's a lot of wood. I just when you physically see it, you realize just how much wood it is. Anyways, we gotta get Ella at school. Gotta get home. Um, and they're probably not gonna unload it today. I gotta get some T posts to bang in the ground. I think the farmer's got some. Uh, I'm gonna stop by his place and pick them up. Bang them into the ground so I can keep everything straight at the side of the house so we don't end up with a big mess with wood all over the place. It just never ends. Winter's coming, folks. Winter's coming. Again, I got all that wood from uh, Josh Blair. I'll leave all his information in the uh, description box below. Uh, very fine people. Very fine people. And very fair as well. Um, give him a call. You need firewood? That's where you go to get it. All right, guys. We made our way back home. I got the wood. Uh, Blair's Firewood, there's his number on there, it's 519-350-7100, family owned business, check them out, let's see what we got in the back here, here we have it, plenty of firewood for the winter, now that needs to get unloaded, however, not only did we get that, we also got five boxes of kindling, Neatly packed in boxes. Check this out. There's our five boxes of kindling. Now that needs to be unloaded yet, but we're not going to get to that right now because Jen is can of pickles. I'm going to show you that, and we got to uh, cut up some beans. So let's get to it. All right, so here's what we got going so far. We got one, two, three, six jars of pickles going. Jen's making the brine for the pickle juice. I got the water boiling over there to put them in so they seal. My job now is to cut up the yellow beans. Can you get that? Makes it a little easier for us to vacuum seal them. Over here, these are pepper seeds that I harvested yesterday. Is this the brine for them? And this is the brine for the seven jars of pickles. Back to cutting beans, and we're done cutting beans. I might have to cut the carrots. Well, I wasn't gonna unload this until tomorrow, but I need to do some stuff with my truck in the morning. Plus, we're supposed to go boating in the afternoon tomorrow. Which means it's gotta come off. So I think we're just gonna pile it behind the boat. And then tomorrow I'll get a wheelbarrow and I'll move it where it needs to be. I thought I was done for the night. No. No mistake. You know these videos, people snapping their fingers and their jobs done. I saw my fingers numerous times. It's still here. We're in the shop now. We got the truck unloaded. Uh, the wood is just stacked up outside the gate, not where I'm going to leave it. I have to move it from there, which is going to require me to use a wheelbarrow because it's now dark. She dark. So tomorrow's job is going to be to get the spot prepared for the wood, and then we'll get it all stacked up. We're also considering getting a wood stove, a wood burning stove for the downstairs to heat the house. Uh, it seems like a wise plan at this point. This is all about being self-reliant. We grow our own, we grow our own food. We're gonna heat our own house. Uh, 
one you save money two you're not relying on someone else anyway i'll see you all in the morning all right guys it's the next day i've saved you most of the struggle actually it's next two days saved you most of the struggle of me taking the pool down here's where we are right now we got all the posts out got the round supports out we're just going to pick this end up and drain some of the water off to the side of the yard i'm going to scrub this one more time and get it uh clean before we pack it up clean and dry before we pack it up for the winter all right i'll get you guys set up over here while we try and lift this pool and get the, all the rest of the water out it should be eventful <music> quite go as I had expected well I just didn't think it was gonna go there so over here so that right there is our sunken living room all the water least most of it just came out here went over toward the house but then it all went downhill over here which is good because uh, we don't want it in the living room so I think what happens now is I gotta grab this end over here, walk it this way, so that when it does go, it goes along the side of the house and runs because it slopes away from the house. <sighs> happens. She don't see it that way, but it happens. Anyway, I'll get you guys set up over here and give it another pull and see what happens. <laughs> What I'm going to do is spread it back out on the uh, tarp here, let it dry. Pretty overcast day and it started to cool off, so it might take a while to dry off. I'm going to scrub it again with some just soap and that broom. And uh, we'll get her packed up for the winter. Alright, well, here's where we are at. Just still picking some vegetables. Alright, pool's down, drying out a little bit as best we can get it, and then we're going to store it away. This shed here, we got our fuel cans. We also got the ladder here, so we're gonna put some of the pool stuff in here. <sighs> Never ends. So we got that. We got a couple more things we gotta put in there for the winter. All the garden supplies are gonna go in there. All these baskets, all those planters, when it's all said and done, they're all gonna go in that shed back there too. So I'm gonna work my butt off this morning, just don't tell nobody, which means it's lunch time, so we're going to go in and have some lunch. And I didn't bother to show you all, but I was up at 4 a.m. yesterday putting a pork butt on the barbecue for dinner yesterday. So today we got some leftovers. See you all in a minute. All right, well, lunch is done. She's cracked the whip. I'm back at it. What I'm going to do is uh, get this thing pulled out, pick it up, get most of the water off that I can. But what I gotta do is I gotta get it all folded up so that I can figure out what size container, um, like a big uh, Tupperware, I say Tupperware, it's not Tupperware, like a big industrial with a sealed lid on it container that I can put it in to keep it safe over the winter time. So let's get it folded up and see how small or well, not small we can make it. Where am I gonna put y'all? Where y'all wanna sit? Go right over here. We got her pretty much cleaned up. I think we're getting the storm rolling in here. I think I go get a container for the pool. I think we're going to cut this video off here because we're about to get dumped on. Anyway, thank you all for joining my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. We are well surpassed 4,000 subscribers, all thanks to you folks. And we just keep growing from there. There goes the beach ball. 
see you all in the next one. Later. You see all these videos, people snapping their fingers and their job's done? Yeah. I snapped my fingers numerous times. It's still here. Am I talking to you or the camera? I thought you were talking to me. <laughs>